Let's take a quick look at a tool which will allow you to create some amazing content for your students. The tool is called Flippity, and it can be found at www.flippity.net. What Flippity does is it pulls data out of a Google spreadsheet and turns it into a variety of really powerful tools for use by you and your students. These tools include everything from flashcards to bingo cards, Jeopardy-style quiz shows to random name generators. And all of this can be done quickly and easily using Google Sheets and the Flippity for Sheets add-on. Let's take a look at how we would begin making, say, a set of flashcards. We need to head over to Google Sheets to build the data. So I'm going to open a new tab and head to Google Sheets. Now don't worry if you've never used Google Spreadsheets before, it's incredibly easy. Once I'm in Google Sheets, I'm going to tap on the plus button to create a blank spreadsheet. Now what's nice is that Flippity has created an add-on for Google Sheets that will add the template directly in for you. All you're going to need to do is change the information to whatever you need for your class. So first, we need to install that add-on. And we can do so by tapping on Add-ons and Get Add-ons. And this will show us the Google Sheets add-on library. Here, we can simply search for Flippity. And when we see it come up, we can tap on the blue free button, log into our account, and allow access so that Flippity can be installed. Give Sheets a moment to install the add-on, and when you see this little pop-up, you know you're good to go. So now, I can tap on add-ons and come down to Flippity, and I can select a template. This brings up the Flippity template viewer. And here you can see all of those options that we saw available on the Flippity website. Quiz shows, crossword puzzles, hangman, spelling quizzes, etc. Let's start with a pretty standard traditional set of flashcards. So I'm going to go to Flippity flashcards, and I'm going to click on use. And what it will do is build the template for me. The template is essentially a sample that we can edit to meet the needs of our flashcards. Now Flippity will give you some instructions here when you get started, but we'll come back to those in a moment. So I'm going to tap on Close. And here's this spreadsheet. I didn't do anything. Flippity created all of this. Generally speaking, you're not going to modify the first row or the first couple of rows. Those are headers and they need to be in place for Flippity to work properly. But beneath that, you'll see the data. That's in black here. And so we see all of the information that will be on one side of the flashcard, and then all the information that is on the corresponding flip side. Notice you can even add images by including a link to the image, or YouTube videos by including a link to the video. Furthermore, we can dictate the color of the card by entering red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple and that will automatically change the color of the card. We can change the color of the text by entering red or blue. If you leave these columns blank, we will get standard black text on white cards. If we want to change the title of our set of flashcards, we simply change the name of the sheet down here. I can double tap on demo and type sample flashcards or whatever you like. Now once you've changed all of your information and you have your sheet the way you want it, there's something very important we need to do, and that is publish this web sheet so that it can be accessed by anyone online. We can accomplish this by going to the File menu and down to Publish to the Web. Simply tap on the blue Publish button, confirm, and we're all set to go. You don't need to worry about this information at all, you can simply exit out. And now we can view our flashcards. But how do we get there? Well, if I go back to my add-ons menu and I go to Flippity, it says flippity.net URL. And if I click on that, it's going to give me the link to my brand new flashcard set that I have created. I can tap on this link and it will take me to my flashcard set. Or I can even click on show short URL and it will automatically shorten it for me to make it easier to share. Let's see what our flashcards look like. And here we are. Now you'll notice one side of the card, you'll see it's blue with red text, and if I click on it, it shows me the answer, or the other side of the card. 
I can even turn the audio on and the slides will be read to me aloud as I go. I can shuffle them, refresh them, scroll through them, etc. But let's say you're not interested in viewing them as traditional flashcards. Well, you'll notice across the top, students have a whole bunch of choices for how they interact with these cards. Let's say they want to see all of them together. They can click on List, and they will see all of the information in a long list, making it quick and easy to review. They can even take a practice quiz where they have to type in the answer. They can match by clicking on two things and trying to get them to match with one another. They can view a word cloud with all of the keywords or even turn them themselves into a bingo card or a crossword puzzle or even a hangman game. This is a really powerful tool and it required very little work on the part of the teacher. You simply needed to edit the information in the template. Now, while we're here in Google Sheets, let's go ahead and create another blank spreadsheet by clicking on the plus button. And let's see what other templates are available to us, just to get a sense for how powerful Flippity actually is. Again, I'm going to click on Add-ons and go to Flippity and select Pick a Template. Let's take a look at something that might be useful as a teacher tool. For example, maybe you do a lot of group work in your classroom. Well, the Flippity Random Name Picker is a really powerful tool for you. So let's tap on Use. And again, Flippity is going to build the template for you. Again, they give you some information, but we'll come back to that later on. Here you see this is a very simple template. All it is is a list of students in your class. You can add as many as you need to, but be sure not to change the blue rows on the top as those are needed by Flippity. Again, we can change the title here by changing the name of our sheet. And we're good to go. So let's say you have all of your students here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm actually going to add one more so we have an even number of students. Okay, now I'm going to publish this on the web just like we did with our previous template. And then we're going to go back to add-ons and Flippity to get the URL for this. And I'm going to click on it, and here's our name generator. So notice that the first choice is this pretty neat spinner here where they take a little section of the spinner for each student's name. And all you got to do is click on it and it will randomly select a student. This is a nice tool to have handy in class so you can randomly select students to answer questions during your class discussions. You can also do something neat like have a lineup of your students. And you can post this on the board so students are going to know exactly when they're going to get called on. And you can kind of scroll through them. But let's say you're doing a group project or a group activity and you need to make groups of three or four or five students. Well, Flippity can do that for you as well. For example, let's say we want groups of three. I'm going to tap on that and it automatically takes my names and randomly generates groups of three or four or two or whatever you like. You can redo them or refresh them by clicking on this blue icon right here. And again, it's totally random. Let's say we're doing a little game in class and we're going to break our class into two full teams. We can do that as well. And we can change that out as we go. We can even use Flippity to create a random seating chart. Notice you can add and remove rows and columns using the plus and minus buttons. And then just hit the blue icon to randomly generate a seating chart for yourself. Click on more to see more options and interact with this however you need. It's a pretty powerful tool and a great time saver. And again, all we need to do to create this was create our class list of first names right here within our Google Sheet. Let's check one more tool from Flippity. I'm going to go back into my Google Sheets. and create another blank spreadsheet. As usual, I will click on the Add-ons tab to access the Flippity Template Picker. Now, a lot of teachers, as the end of the year approaches, like to play review games with students. Oftentimes, you'll use a Jeopardy-style template, and Flippity can do that as well. They call it the Flippity Quiz Show. So I'm going to go ahead and use this template. And you'll see my template is brought up, 
and just like previous times, we're going to just edit the content. You'll see the blue row and column, we do not want to touch those. We want to leave those as is. Um, and you'll see essentially a point value, 100 points, 200, 300, etc. And the Q, of course, stands for the question, and the A stands for the answer. These are the headings for the categories of your game. And so, of course, you can just simply tap and type any of these things to change them to the content you want. You can even include videos and images on your questions by following the instructions on flippity.net. Let's go ahead and publish this to the web so we can see what it looks like live. Once it's published, as we've been doing, simply tap on Add-ons, Flippity, and get the URL to your game. Click on the link, and here's my game. You can see all of my categories and all of the point values, and you can control how many teams are actually playing. So let's say you're playing with five teams. I'm going to add a fifth team. And so let's say the first team selects movies for 100. I'm going to click here, and the question comes up, and they can answer it aloud. By clicking on the slide, it'll tell you the answer. And you can even have fun little sound effects by clicking on the check or the X, and it will play a ding or a buzzer to confirm whether students have gotten them correct or not. In addition, it will keep score for you so you can see who scored the most points at the end of the game. So this is just a brief look at the powerful tool Flippity, available at flippity.net. I've just begun to scratch the surface of what this tool can actually do. It's definitely worth taking a few minutes and digging around to see all the different games and resources, all of which are built very simply using templates and Google Sheets. Don't be scared to get started, just jump right in and start editing. It's really simple and really powerful. Enjoy!